Well, as President Trump demands that, that school children return to the classroom this fall, Governor Gavin Newsom says local school districts will be given flexibility on how students will return to school. Action News Now reporter Brandon Benitez is live in Chico with details on what schools in Chico can expect. Alan, Chico Unified School District held a special board meeting earlier today to discuss what it's going to look like when students return. They're giving them multiple options coming next school year, whether you're here at Shasta Elementary School, like where I'm at right now, all the way to the high school stage. Chico Unified School District is preparing for a wide number of outcomes during the coronavirus pandemic. The district is offering three learning models, traditional, online, and blended learning, all with and without mandated social distancing scenarios. We're going to have to be creative and flexible, um, but I think the more communication there is between all the, the stakeholders, uh, the more we can do right by kids. Abe Simons, a health teacher at Chico High School, hopes these plans are enough for students from all walks of life to succeed. I think we must take all steps possible to ensure that the most vulnerable students are taken care of. Um, students with disabilities, uh, homeless students, um, English language learners. Um, we, we need to create as many resources as possible to make it equitable um, so all students can thrive. Today the board talked about options including staggering student schedules, limiting class sizes, and compiling a reserve of personal protective equipment. It all revolves around four different guidelines, sanitation, PPE, health screenings, with social distancing being the final and possibly the most difficult challenge. They're young and they like to have fun and they like to give each other hugs and high fives and that's always been the norm and I've always encouraged that behavior and now I'm going to have to recalibrate uh, how I encourage interaction and it will be difficult um, and it's something that I think we as teachers um, are going to have to continually talk about with our students about uh, creating a distance so we can stay healthy. To get a more in-depth view of, of what the district's plans are going to be for schools, like I said, from elementary all the way to high school, we're going to provide you a link on the story details. Just click on it. It'll be on later tonight. Till then, live in Chico, I'm Brandon Benitez, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Thank you for that, Brandon. We'll